At some point in their lives, most people have said something like, that was an out-of-body experience. I felt like I was hovering above my own body watching myself sing. But the expression comes from a real phenomenon that has been present throughout time, various religions, and the history of the human experience. According to surveys, about 10% of the population have experienced an out-of-body experience, or as we'll call it, an OBE. An OBE is the sensation of being outside of your own body and feeling like you're floating above it or watching yourself from a distance. There are two types of OBEs, spontaneous and induced. Spontaneous OBEs occur with no stimulation and appear to happen randomly, usually either before bed or prior to waking up. The second type of OBE is induced. This can occur through sensory overload, like from psychedelic drugs or frequency training, and even through sensory deprivation, like a flotation tank. In this video, we're gonna explore what these experiences feel like, how they happen, and how you can actually train your mind and body to have one yourself, if that's something you're interested in. We spoke to four different people who had out-of-body experiences and asked them to describe what it felt like. If you like this video and you're interested in other topics like consciousness, spirituality, anything in that realm, we're gonna be making a lot of these videos and doing interviews on a bi-weekly basis. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also check out our podcast, which comes out every second week. Uh, link in the description. Hit the like button also and share this video with someone who might be interested. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to the fourth dimension. We spoke with Gene Mount, who is a trainer at the Monroe Institute of Consciousness Exploration. If you're wondering what that is, we talked to Paul Elder about it a bit more in our interview with him, and we're going to be doing a video on it in the future. But basically, they explore ways that you can expand your mind. And she described her first spontaneous out-of-body experience that led her to her work there. And I did start having out-of-body experiences. I remember the first one. I was at my sister's house in Oklahoma City, uh, and in the middle of the night, uh, I was sitting up and I was halfway out of my body and I thought, oh, okay, this is it, I'm going to try this. <laughs> so, and so I swung my legs around and I stepped on the floor to see if it was solid under my feet and it was. So I got up, I stood up. But it took tremendous, tremendous energy and effort to do, to do that. And so I walked along the bed and I felt a knee and a foot and, a, and then I realized it was my knee and my foot. That, that I was feeling. <laughs> we also spoke to Garrett Stevens, who is the chairman and president of Interstate Industries, Inc., which is a conscious media company that uses the Hemisync technology developed by Robert Monroe of the Monroe Institute. And he described his OBE within a flotation tank. Got into a tank, was in there for like an hour and a half. Nothing was happening. I, I felt very relaxed, but nothing was happening. And so I decided it was time to go. When I kind of got up to go, I realized that I couldn't move. I was paralyzed. And then I noticed that there was a vibration starting in my chest. It was getting stronger. I thought, oh, that's odd. And then it sort of spread to my belly and then back up to my head. And pretty soon, like, everything felt like it was vibrating. And uh, the next thing you knew, like, I had this, like, very physical sensation of being shot out the top of my head, I guess, kind of like the crown area. And, like, traveling at a very high rate of speed through vortex or a wormhole and not totally sure how to describe it words don't really do it justice but there were like brightly colored lights on either side and it was like, kind of like a spiraling sensation that i had kind of going through this wormhole and i just had this sense that i was going really far away at a really high rate of speed and um you know it was after i had these vibrations in my chest and i thought shit you know did i just have a heart attack like am i dying yeah. Um, because that was how my dad died. And so like as soon as that fear factor kicked in, wham, I was back in my body. If you're interested in hearing more about how you can actually train yourself to induce an OBE using sound technology in different frequencies, check out our podcast with Garrett. The link will be in the description. As for what actually happens during these experiences, well, scientists have long been trying to solve this mystery. In 1955, a Canadian neurosurgeon named Wilder Penfield was electrically stimulating the brains of people with epilepsy and when he stimulated one patient's right temporal lobe, the patient claimed to feel like they were leaving their body. In 2002, a Swiss group was conducting similar research into epilepsy, and they found the area known as the temporal... Let me actually, let me try to pronounce this properly. The temporal... Peri the temporal... Periatial... 
the j temporal period jump. You know what? We're just going to call it the TPJ. And the TPJ held a lot of potential when it came to answering questions about OBEs. According to Psychology Today, TPJ is an area of the brain that's a hub of activity with inputs from multiple systems and takes in data from visual, auditory, and bodily systems. It integrates info from within and from outside the body, and it is thought to play a part in the distinction between self and other, which makes the TPJ a prime contender for the seat of OBEs. The area Area basically takes inputs from all of the senses as well as memories, emotions, and perhaps most notably, it helps us keep track of where our limbs are. Blank, who was one of the scientists involved in the Swiss experiment, believes that OBEs are related to a failure to integrate multi-sensory information from one's own body at the TPJ. Another place to look for answers comes from studying near-death experiences. We have a whole video on what happens during these experiences, which you can check out later. Again, link in the description. Sorry for saying that so many times. But many people who survive an NDE describe similar out-of-body experiences. When speaking to the rapper Wi-Fi's funeral for an interview with Hip Hop DX, he described a similar sensation when recalling flatlining after a drug overdose. I, like the only thing that I remember is that I was just watching myself, like literally, like from like the top looking down and I just see myself just like stiff like not being able to move. And then like, I don't know, like 10 seconds later, I just like, heart just started beating again. And Paul Elder, who we spoke to for an episode of our podcast, described floating above his body when he was drowning. And almost instantly, I went shooting out of my body. And in a moment, I'm floating over the choir loft in the back of our Catholic church out in the, out in the country, floating. And I'm looking down at the pews and I'm on the second floor in the, in the choir loft. You know, and I discovered that just by thinking, I could move wherever I wanted to and just float it around. And a couple of times I've moved over the edge and it was kind of freaky because it's 15 feet down. So is there a spiritual aspect to OBEs? Could it be the soul leaving the body and reaching another plane of existence for a specific purpose? Well, many people think so. We might not ever have the answers, but it's clear that there is something larger than us at play when it comes to human souls leaving the body. What should we cover next for the channel? Let us know by commenting and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this content. Make sure to share it with somebody maybe who had an out-of-body experience so hopefully they can get some insight and maybe give you some insight as to what they were experiencing. You can also listen to our podcast by searching The Fourth Dimension on Spotify and follow us on Instagram at Enter The Fourth Dimension. Thank you guys so much. Hope you have a great day.